My name is Sam Doan. I'm the production horticulturist for J. Frank Schmidt & Son, and we're here at our farm in Canby, Oregon. We've got over 1,200 acres of bare root, shade, and flowering trees. Well, about 10 years ago, I got uh, moved up to this farm, uh, and labor, uh, our wage was, was going up dramatically. At the same time, uh, we were seeing uh, some water shortages. We really needed to look for a more efficient and effective system. We install the system over a three-year period. So with each planting cycle, we brought out excavators and installed mainline uh, to the fields that, that were scheduled for planting that year. Drip irrigation seems like it should be really simple. And so I think there is motivation to try and design it yourself. And doing that can often end up in a system that's less efficient than it could be. Uh, so working with a qualified engineer that can really work out your field pressure, your slope, your emitter spacing, your emitter flow rate to match it up with your pump, your mainline sizing, uh, to really maximize the system is important. And I wanted to just quickly show you a device we use to help us understand how much water we're applying to the field and when we need to schedule our next set of irrigation. And we've logged the amount of water present in the soil profile. And this is showing us water use over time uh, for the entire uh, three foot profile that we just scanned. So we're using this to validate the quality of work that we're doing. Probably the, the best thing about it is that one person can come up and simply turn a knob and send water to the field. And with that simple action, we're now irrigating over two acres uh, of field production. Using an overhead irrigation, uh, we would have to have a crew of five to eight people come out and move that pipe so they would physically pick it up and carry it over the top of the trees and set it down in the next location. Fertigation is the next step in uh, a more efficient uh, irrigation system and that involves directly injecting fertilizer into our drip irrigation system. We're applying water right where the roots are uh, so we're not uh, running the risk of it going past the root zone or out of the field uh, we're really making a good use of the water and fertilizer that we're applying to the field. Everybody appreciates the benefits of drip irrigation and uh, fertilizer injection. Uh, it's just, you know, we're not driving a tractor through the field right now, so we're doing two jobs at once. There's labor savings involved with that as well. Uh, it's not as backbreaking to work. We're not picking up bags of fertilizer and putting them into uh, fertilizer spreaders. I think if there's any reservations about making the change from overhead irrigation to drip, just start small and take a look at converting one block over uh, in your next cycle of production. I think drip irrigation is a good solution uh, for any size production facility. Uh, whether your farm is 20 acres or 2,000 acres, it uh, gives you an opportunity to save water and control your resources more precisely.